Hey traders from around the world, what is going on? It's Ricky Cadden from Real Life Trading Australia. This is your real life stock review from the amazing Sydney Harbour. Check out this amazing view. It is absolutely beautiful. And look who's coming on. The man, <laughs> Jay Newsom. Hey bud. You loving this? Loving this. Enjoy this stock review guys. You rock. All right, team, we are back. Thanks for being here. It's been an absolute phenomenal three weeks having Jeremy down here in Australia. That was just a short clip of us cruising the harbour with Louise Bedford and her team and all her students uh, and from the conference that we were speaking at. Uh, it was an absolutely amazing honour to meet her in the flesh and blood. Um, and Louise, if you're hearing this, thank you for inviting us. You're amazing and I definitely cannot wait to be on your next conference next year so looking forward to that one um, but here's a quick stock review for you guys not a whole lot to look at just want to look at the broader markets just briefly the SPY not doing much just creating some new all-time highs we did have a retest gap three days ago and we have not yet filled that gap and interestingly enough we haven't actually filled this gap back down here either so what I do expect guys uh, in the future probably the near future we could come down maybe fill this gap probably create another higher high and then maybe look to roll over filling this gap and coming back down to the 100 and then slowly grinding higher that's just what I believe could happen it makes a lot of sense we have had a very nice run um, if I just take a look here since October you know we've already come up 9% since October that is absolutely huge and if you take a look at the weekly chart we've had one two three four five six seven bullish candles in a row so it does make a lot of sense to have a pullback here guys so if you are in bullish maybe look to lock in some gains lock in some profits and uh, look to buy the dips at a lower level let's take a quick look at the e-minis e-minis are currently selling off a little bit in the afternoon session you can see here we have had a nice little Morningstar-esque pattern happening right now. So that also does make a lot of sense. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled on this one, guys. On the one, uh, on the shorter term moving averages, we probably could come down to the 10. If we do close below the 10, I would expect us to come down to at least the 20. Um, but if we get a close below the 20, uh, we're going straight down to the 50 again. So keep your eyes peeled on a short term bearish move guys. It's not the market's not going to fall out of the sky from here. Let's take a look at the Dow Jones, the DIA, and we did have a very nice gap up today in the market. Um, however, it is a new all time high and a lot of people are looking to obviously lock in their profits. So Dow Jones just fading ever so slightly uh, keep your eyes peeled on a short-term dip and the IWM not doing a whole lot just kind of hanging out at this resistance level here guys we've been speaking about this resistance level for some time if you are looking at getting into some bearish trades you could consider doing a, you could consider doing a a bear call spread up here uh, that would be very very nice but being that the market is still bullish, this this IWM could very well potentially come out, break out, and then just continue on higher, as we have consolidated here for quite some time. But let's take a look at some stocks. AMD, AMD just absolutely cruising on higher. Since October, mid-October, we have already come up 47%, which is absolutely huge. If you take a look at the monthly chart, you'll notice that we are coming back into these all-time highs back in 2006 and also the dot-com era or the dot-com bubble back in 2001 uh, so a lot of people will be looking to lock in some gains here it makes a lot of sense I'm not a one to buy up at these levels and just on the daily chart you can see we are getting quite extended from the long-term moving averages so if you are looking at holding this stock long term just look to buy a dip of some sort um, 
probably I would like to buy off the 100, uh, but the next resistance level is obviously uh, just here at 34.11. So keep your eyes peeled at on a dip at 34.11 if it does occur. But AMD looks very very good at the moment. Let's take a look at another semiconductor, A Mat Applied Materials, and today we did get a beautiful. Uh, evening star reversal followed after a strong gap and go now guys if you just take a look at the weekly chart here we are also at the all-time highs again we did create some new all-time highs just yesterday and I do expect some selling as most people would so this gap will fill uh, at some stage and probably in the very very near future so just keep your eyes peeled on this one if you are in long-term shares maybe look to just take your profits and buy back in on a dip or you could look at getting into a collar trade selling a call up at 65 and getting into some puts uh, down here so aim at evening star reversal uh, look to take your profits looks really really juicy. Let's take a look at Shake Shack now Shake Shack's quite interesting uh, Great company great burger place to eat if you take a look at the weekly chart. We are sitting at the 100 Simple moving average on a weekly chart um, If we're going to bounce here, it really needs to start showing some sort of signs this week um, I know we did start to roll over and we did get a beautiful gap and go here uh, and we did gap and go. However, we are coming down to a very nice value area of support uh, on the weekly chart. So keep your eyes peeled on a bounce here on Shaq. And that's all I've got for the US markets. Let's take a look at the all odds, ticket symbol XAO. And we have had a cute little fake out here, right here. We did get a nice little fake out on the daily and we are just cruising back down. If we do get a pullback in the markets, guys, 100 simple moving average on the daily will be the first target to buy. Um, but keep in mind this ascending wedge that is occurring. This could also be a very nice dip buying opportunity to slowly break out higher. But I do think that we will slowly grind higher and create some new all time highs. Let's take a look at JHX, which is James Hardy Industries. If you take a look at the weekly chart, we have come up quite a lot. Since December, we have risen 100%. So if you are in shares from back down here, probably look to sell or look to get into some collar position, some sort of collar position to sell some premium and get into some longer term puts uh, down here. Just because this is a very nice location to sell. Um, but James Hardy, great retail store, and we have got a few retest gaps here, as you can see, that have not been filled. Uh, so I do expect those to slowly get filled, and we could most likely get a pullback down to around $24. So keep your eyes peeled on that one, guys. If you are in James Hardy, just tread with caution here and protect your capital. Here's Rio. Now, Rio is going to chop sideways here for a while. So if you are looking to score some premium here, you could look to sell a spread up here. Or if you are in some longer term positions, this is a very nice level to just sell a covered call, probably around $98 and kind of just take that premium from the market. I do expect Rio to kind of just chop sideways here for quite some time. It is obviously linked with the iron ore and iron ore is having a little bit of a rest right now. Same with other companies like BHP as well. So Rio is not just going to launch on out of here. So you may as well take some premium while you can. Let's take a look at Macquarie Bank, ticker symbol MQG. And we did create another all time high this week. And we had a beautiful gap and go. I did not see this until just now actually <laughs> so we did have a beautiful gap and go today so if you did day trade this if we just take a look at the five minutes see how you would have played it look at that bullish high wave candle here guys very very amazing cute little uh, bearish flag pattern and then a nice little rollover so macquarie bank 
is having a little bit of a pullback on the daily. Uh, on the daily, we probably could come back down a little bit, maybe down to 133, maybe one or so 133 or 131, which is this resistance level right here. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled on a little bit more of a sell-off on Macquarie Bank. Um, and if you do have shares, look to sell a call. Let's take a look at another bank, CBA. I did mention last week that you could look to sell an 82 covered call, an 82 or an 83. Uh, this was obviously a beautiful trade and right now we are just going to chop sideways. So if you're in long-term shares, that would have been a great position to take. But if you're in shorter term positions, this is a sell high location and just look to buy the dip most likely off the 200. Let's take a look at some commodities. Now the US oil or crude oil did have a little bit of a pullback. We did mention last week that the 200 simple moving average would be a brick wall and we are getting a little bit of a sell off at the moment um, but we are still creating some higher lows at this point in time. So if we do break this trend line right here, I do expect us to come down to at least 54 and then we'll kind of gauge what's going to happen there if we're going to go back down to 52. Um, but from here guys, just tread with caution and mitigate that risk. And let's take a look at gold. Gold not doing a whole lot here either, guys. Just trading sideways. And I do expect us probably to trade sideways for a little bit longer. And last but not least, the Aussie dollar being a little bit bearish as I have expected. And we are having a cute little bearish little flag here at the moment. So I do expect us probably to go a little bit lower and most likely come back down to the lows of 67.40 area in the near future. All right, guys, that's it from me. I'll be back on Thursday with another Real Life Stock Review. And until then, love life, live life, and trade it. I'll see you all soon. Bye. All right, guys, that's it. I'll be back on Thursday with another Real Life Stock Review. I hope you like this review. Don't forget to click that subscribe button below, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.